Alright, so welcome to the Cheeky Lot Guide showing exactly how I do my high round attempts on Revelations. I've only played it a few times, I was a few days late, but from what I can tell, running around the map for a while, around 44 right now, the best spot is the spawn room. You will definitely need a Thunder Gun upgraded and an Apothecary Conservant upgraded as well. If you don't know how to get that, and then in the description will be a link to a place with a video showing you how to upgrade the Bofagan Servant. You, I'm doing this without quick revive and two perks, so it's very doable. Uh, you basically just want to follow my route. You want to start by the truck, then do zigzags in and out, avoiding all the zombies. Then run back around the ritual. There'll be a few stragglers, so just again go back on yourself. And after three or four runs around, you should have all of them. Now it's completely up to you if you want to use Buff Conservant or the Thunder Gun. They're both superly, superly overpowered. I'd also recommend Little Arnie's and upgrading them too if you don't know how to do that again. Same place in the description will be a link to the playlist. They're very, very helpful. And they're basically like a distraction for about 30 seconds, so it's definitely worth having. So both the weapons you have right now are useful for getting out of tight situations and will definitely save you millions and millions of times throughout your high round attempts. Just like they are now, very tight situation, bang, instantly deaded. So what I'm going to show you is a cheeky little technique. This is for new players and pro players. It's called going back on yourself. And it's very useful. It's basically rape training, but little minute movements you'll see coming up to this corner so going back is going forward one way then slightly to the side and turning backwards and going back in the same direction you ready like that so go forward spin around and run back what that does is basically sends the zombies running around in a circle rather than chasing you exactly it sort of follow the path that you took rather than chasing you uh, again if you do it wrong and just spray your wonder weapon but that little technique is going to get you superly far especially in the high rounds because they do so much damage so quickly you just want to <laughs> avoid it if you can and just do zigzags and use the room as much as possible but yeah there's not much else I can really tell you uh, apart from the keeper if you don't know how to get that same place in description again but if you go over to one of the keeper areas Verrucked is a nice one and is actually a big area by the ritual site again so if you don't feel like you want to run around the spawn all day then go to Verrucked it's a nice open area there too and upstairs is the keeper site so call it in for 5k and it will do most of the work for you so just run around and I'd seriously recommend this if you have very little ammo. Now, do not ever use all of the bullets in your wonder weapons, ever. You want to keep at least one in each of your weapons, just for a last resort, basically. Uh, you should have a lot of points if you're at high rounds. If you don't, then you're pretty much screwed. You're going to have to swap out one of your wonder weapons and buy a VMP or something for points. But if you have 5k, just come up to one of our sites, call the keeper in, and this guy is actually going to do so much freaking damage, it's unbelievable, you're just going to want to run around. And of course you've got your last resort, your last bullet if you need it, but he's going to do most of the killing, so just run, let him do his work. If you get lucky you get a death machine or something like that, like I did, very lovely. But yeah, if you do have a lot of points, call the keeper in. Why? On solo and even in carp as well, he will revive you. I haven't got a quick revive, but he will still revive me if I go down. So, very well worth using this guy, even if you don't think you need him. So, uh, just a cheeky little few tips there for you, more of the new players, if I'm honest. But for the pro players, maybe something you didn't know in there. Like the keeper reviving you, even if you don't have quick revive, which is absolutely freaking savage. So, uh, if there's anything you didn't understand or you want to know more, or you want to give me tips for some reason, then leave me a cheeky little comment below. And again, as usual, in the description, everything you need to know in a playlist for revelations. So, 
I wish you guys the best luck in your zombie games. And right now, I'm actually on round 49, so whatever I get to, I'll let you know in the description. But if you beat me, then GG. Darling, I will be loving you. 